crispy. What is up, Donkey Kong fanatics? It is Ash Rock back with another review. This is going to be on the Jack Specific World of Nintendo Donkey Kong figure. Let's look at the packaging super quick. So here is Donkey Kong in the packaging, similar to the Bowser packaging, very similar packaging. You got very cool art on the front. Donkey Kong on the bottom right, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, obviously advertising the newest game in the franchise. On the side, nothing special, just World of Nintendo. On the back, Donkey Kong King of the Jungle, Donkey, or in, if you're French, Donkey Kong Royal de la Jungle, Wee oui, Wee. Oui. 10 points of articulation, 10 points de artic I don't have to read in, in, in fucking French every time. What is wrong with me? At the bottom, the other characters. I'm really looking forward to Yoshi. I want to see what Yoshi looks like. And then when, now that we have that SH figure out Mario to see how that kind of works out. It actually might work out really, really well. So we'll see. Let's move on. And there you have it. As you can see, the packaging is very large. Of course, that's what she said. It is a six inch figure. So that is why it's so gigantic. That's what she said again. She's never said that ever, actually. I'm a lonely, lonely man. Anyways, back to Donkey Kong, you sons of fucking whores. He is a awesome looking figure, and my favorite character in Nintendo really is. One of the main reasons why I got a Wii U was to play some of the old school games, the ones that had that nostalgic feel to them, and this is one of those characters growing up. Donkey Kong Country was one of my favorite games on Super Nintendo. On 64, I think he had the Donkey Kong Country 64, which was an okay game, and then uh, recently on the uh, Wii, there was a good Donkey Kong Country game, and then on the Wii U, Tropical Freeze, which is where this figure is really being based off of, advertising that on the front of the packaging. Paint applications is what we're going to talk about first. So he is obviously his main theme is brown. The other brown, it's a it's a lighter brown throughout. Very nicely done. Very very uh, realistic of the character. No real shading or anything like that. But similar to the Bowser, you really don't need that with these type of characters. They're very simplistic and that nostalgic feel to them. You don't need to go all out to really entertain not only kids with these figures, but even adults with these figures. I think this is a very well detailed painted figure and it just has that, I don't know, it just has that old school uh, feel to it. And I like that a lot. So uh, the, the tie itself is wrapped around his, his neck, obviously, uh, is red. And, uh, you know, nothing super detailed, very, very simple. The head, I'm not going to zoom in. I, I'm pretty close as it is right now. Uh, you can see very, very cheesy smile. The eyes came out nice. No real paint blotches on this either. And, uh, you know, I've seen a couple of these across the map, and I have not seen any paint blotches. So a very, very nice job in terms of paint applications. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Very simple, unlike the Bowser that's a little more complicated, has uh, a lot more colors and, and whatnot throughout him. This guy's a very, very simple character. So, but still, nonetheless, 8 out of 10, really, really good job. Articulation, he's featured with 10 points of articulation as opposed to the Bowser that only has 9. And I'll go through that right now. He's got a ball joint right here. It also is a hinge. He's got a single joint elbow. It does not rotate at the elbow or nothing like that. So just a single joint elbow. But unlike Bowser, his his limits are, you can, you can definitely do a lot more with his uh, articulation. He's not hindered by a gigantic shell or anything like that. So... Uh, very, very nice, I think. Uh, you can do some very cool poses with them. You, you know, you see it almost wraps around his old body there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, same thing with the wrist. Uh, and I should have probably talked about this with paint, but there's one of those things. Okay, so maybe that was the only mistake they might have made where they didn't paint that uh, hinge right there. But not a big gripe. Anyways, back to articulation. It's got a hinge right there. Rotates at the wrist. Unlike the Bowser, this one was a little bit looser. But again, if you, ever, you guys ever get a figure and it feels kind of tight blow dry some hot water or whatnot and, and, and loosen up nice and easy okay just like i do with your mama every single night hey -oh! okay back to the articulation uh <laughs> i just insulted your mother for that i apologize please don't unsubscribe uh he's got a uh you got the ab crunch right here it does not rotate at the wrist or, any, or at the waist or anything like that he does rotate at the head no hinge or nothing like that so it's just a pure rotation so nothing super special there He's got a hinge here on the leg ball joint hinge, and then he rotates at the foot. So very cool. Uh, he does stand straight up if you're wondering, but he is very, very top heavy. So you can see there, he just kind of falls over. He is very top heavy. Let me see if I can get him to stand. Stand, bastardo, stand. Stand, you bastard. 
he ain't gonna stand. He he will stand. I've messed around with it, but I don't feel like doing it right now. You got to kind of mess around with it, but uh, you know he's got a gigantic head first and foremost, and a gigantic torso, so uh, it, it does kind of hinder. But if you do it right, you can stand him, uh, depending on the, how you do it. But for articulation. I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. Nothing fancy. A little bit better than Bowser with his limits uh, of, of, of where he can go with his arms and whatnot. But nonetheless, final score on this guy, same as Bowser, a 9 out of 10. I love it. I love this character so much. And it's funny because the SH Figure Arts is obviously pumping out some Nintendo characters now. they got a Luigi coming out very soon. They're going to keep pumping out Nintendo characters because they're obviously selling and they're making a shit ton of money off of them. So uh, we're going to obviously see basically every lovable character in the Nintendo world, I think, down the line. And I think they're going to obviously make a Donkey Kong. Now, my only gripe would be the size of the Donkey Kong. I'm not sure what size they would go with. And I've been talking about it forever. I'm like, I really want SH Figure Arts to make a Donkey Kong figure. I think it'd be great. Um, and we'll have to wait and see. But for now, similar to the Bowser, $14.99 on this figure, that is not a bad price for what you're getting. I think you're getting a very cool, nostalgic uh, figure. I think it'll stand out in your if you have a Nintendo collection of some kind. He will definitely stand out. And I, I, I like this character so damn much. So for me, this was a no-brainer. It's all up to you. But uh, if you have that Donkey Kong in your heart, I say go for it. As always, remember to laugh every day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you guys next time. Deuces.